Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Huangshao campaign. We pick it up for episode 10 from turn 45 in the summer season of 199. So last episode we ended uh, with finishing up our invasion in the south as we took out two small factions. Uh, we are no longer at war with any of the factions around us, uh, but I'm sure Liu Yao will declare war on us right away. He tends to declare war on whoever he sees. And uh, he doesn't uh, send armies across the north side of the Yangtze River, so we should be fine. Our main concern is with Cao Cao, who will probably likely declare war on us eventually soon. He likes to backstab people, so we gotta reposition our army a little bit and also start recruiting a backup force over here. Um, over here in the north, we need to upgrade these archers to archery masters, but right now, for defensive purposes, they're fine, as Yuan Shao has declared war on us. Uh, we do need to make a small court adjustment over here. Uh, Zhuge Nan over here, uh, not only does he not get along with Duan Zhen Yue uh, in the great healer position, he's no longer kind of an important character in our faction. Uh, originally, he was the first one we put on the field because as a potter, he has the minus one construction time. But also as a potter, he's not really going to be in any of our armies because those roles are reserved for brewers, builders, and jade carvers. So we're going to switch him off. We're going to remove him from office. It's going to drop his satisfaction a little bit, but as you can see, he has uh, tons of that right now, so it's fine. And instead, we're going to put Meng. Where is she? Where is she? I'll find her. Uh, her. Man Jun Meng. Uh, Man, Man Meng. So she's the brewer that's currently in our northern army. She's going to be in this row. It's the same bonuses. It doesn't actually change anything. Uh, it's just that she will provide, uh, not only is she happy with everyone, that which is great, um, but uh, she will provide the 10 point experience and public order to Pingyuan and to our May army. So the experience is going to help them uh, there. And also I noticed something here. Uh, our generals got married to each other by themselves. We didn't, We you know, you can't actually do this. We can't actually say you marry him. There's no family tab, but they decide to get married themselves. Which is very interesting. Hopefully they will have kids. Uh, we'll see if that happens. Okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Um, we should get the buildings out of the way. I want to continue to finish our mission here by building this to a scholar's lodge. Uh, that will give us 5,000 extra gold next turn to use to um, expand. Uh, we're still short on cash because we're just basically pumping everything into our commanderies at this point. Uh, they just have to hang on. They're fine. And we're going to just have them stationary. So let's continue. All right, Kong Zhou's army is backed away to declare war on He Yi. It seems like all three yellow tournament factions are doing quite well in this campaign. So we're not going to see He Yi and Gong Du join us very soon. Uh, Liu Yao somehow has died. Uh, maybe to war with Sun Ce, or maybe they just died of old age. But anyway, she took over. That's a strange timing. Okay. Uh, Yuan Shao's army is still nowhere to be seen. Yuan Shu's army is amassing over here, but this is his only territory, so I can understand that. And you know it's his only territory because it's a county, it's a specialty county, it's a farmland, and it has the capital symbol, which means he doesn't own any uh, settlements. Now, you could say he could own two uh, counties. Sure, that's a possibility, but I just feel like that's his only county left. Um, why didn't we get the mission clear? Ah, it's a two-turn build. That's why. So we can't get 5,000 extra gold. I was counting on that. There's so many things to be built. Uh, before our main army leaves this commandery, we'll upgrade the small city. Just take one turn. Also make it a lot safer. Pingyuan should upgrade the headquarters. It will make the archery master cheaper and also cause public order issues for people around them. Uh, increasing farming. Industry. Now, who has the assignments? They have the assignment. Ah, uh, we're trying to upgrade this all the way to a small regional city. And let's continue. Dong can be our most tall build right now. And we can start shifting this army out uh, back to Pengcheng. Okay. And I think we're good. Uh, we're just waiting for more cash. We're just building up for now. 
And the faction is gone, so they probably, uh, Liu Yao probably died to attack. I'm guessing Sun Ce did it. We got our 5,000 gold for completing this mission. And new challenge, hold only the entirety of three commanders. This is a kind of backward challenge, we already have this. So we're probably going to get another 5,000. We got a new reform. Yep, we got another 5,000. Any other missions? No, just relationship. Um, peace or vengeance? Uh, are there, neither of these are important roles. She's a healer physician. He's a healer musician. I don't think this matters too much. Uh, let's go for peace. Let's see. Level ups in the court. Alright. Do we want peasantry? Do we want industry? Probably industry first and then leads to commerce. And let's see. Extra 10% research rate for sure. Perfect. Speaking of research rate, we're at 370 now. These are still two turns, which is a shame. It's still 2235, so we're still going to look over here. Probably just going to get all the county upgrades done. Because there's nothing else I really want. Yeah, there's really nothing else I really want here. Let's just finish up the building sections. Uh, we have new characters in the court. That's rare. Two new characters in the court. Interesting. Level 3 advisor. I think he worked for us before and we... No, he worked for Gondu. Vain, vengeful. It doesn't matter. We're recruiting everyone. The more, the merrier. Fortune tellers are quite nice. Good in a commanding general position. Um, what else? Who else do we have to deal with? Oh, this is a good thing. Extra campaign movement range and extra cunning. Alright, we're going to give you... Is it on something? No, it's not on anyone. Okay. And then for you, we're actually going to give you this for retinue expense because you're going to have a very expensive retinue very soon. And the book. Okay, this is good. What other items do we have? We have so many items. We should actually give them out. Our local leader can use some extra expertise to lower the expense. Okay, where's our other local leader? We have two of them. Tai Shan. Oh, he already has it. He's on top of things. Huang Shao. Okay. It's fine. This is stupid on him. We were just trying to give him a little bit of cunning, I think. But I think it's better just to give him more battle stats. Yeah, he's barely over a hundred. Uh, let's see. He's farming for us. He's not doing anything. Uh, maybe we have a better item for you. Not quite. Hmm. Just because he has archer rent news. Mm, neither of these really fit. Okay, it's it's fine. Let's see, let's see. We're not going to spend the money on the unit upgrades. We're still going to build up first. Headquarter upgrade, very important. New building slot. In, uh, this is uh, Tradeport County, okay. So I think we just go with commerce and industry. Although this is a border town, so maybe a forge? For the replenishment. I don't know if we're going to fight in Guangling though. I'm probably not going to fight in Guangling to be honest. Taishan's fine. P 
Peng Chung can upgrade the headquarter up one more time. More farm. That's a lot of turns, but that's fine. All right. Uh, let's see. We're a little short on cash. Let's see which one we want to go for. Extra research rate. Extra enlightenment. 4,000 gold. It's very expensive. Dong and Ping Yuan. Well, they're building stuff, so I guess they're being useful. This is relatively cheap. Let's just go for something cheap. Actually, the livestock farm. A lot of turns, though. Hmm. Yeah, the in-building upgrade is more important. Taishan could eventually also go tall, but... It's fine right now, just because... Oh, actually, it's not fine. We can upgrade this to a small regional city, and all these can be level 5. We already got the reforms for these two. Okay, let's also make Taishan a tall build. It has a local leader anyways. And... Got a trait, honest. Good for him. Let's see, do we need to do? We need to continue move our army back. That's what we need to do. If we're gonna invade Tal Tal, it's this way. We'll just lag behind a little bit. And that's it. Let's go on to the next turn. Alright, Gong Sun declare war on Zhang Yan. So he's gonna be busy. Not sure if he can win that, to be honest. Alright, we want the artisan building here. We basically just want to make this a money place. Alright, these two buildings are the last two in the building slot, and that's all the industry buildings there are. We basically give up a little bit of commerce to go heavy industry. This one might not be needed. 40 commerce, thir uh, 30 industry is actually really good here. Artisan first, though. No need to think about that. Uh, headquarter upgrade. Guangling. Probably just a cheap one. Should we upgrade the farmland? We are losing out a bit of food just because we're going crazy with the city upgrade. Yeah, let's upgrade the farmland. We probably want to start upgrading some of these as well. Uh, although the greenery building still, still requires a small regional city to go all the way up. Uh, but this is just extra peasantry. Income is not actually extra food, so it doesn't actually hurt us to not upgrade this building. Alright, these two are food production. I wonder if it's like the base game. No, you need a small regional city. So this max out at level 4. And this max out at level 4 as well. It's quite a big jump. I think I might be convinced to put this into a small regional city as well. And then fifth building can be like one of these utility buildings. Okay. Um, three level ups. Nice thing to see. Tai Shi You are a sorcerer. We should go this way. Commerce income, then insight for research rates. Assuming we're not going to have you as a. Oh, he's also a very good leading general. Right, resourcefulness and reach. Alright, we're gonna head towards insight. Yeah. And who else is leveled up? Ah, local leader in don't. Uh, uh, she can get us extra food. Right, these two are her main local leader skills help our food production out a little bit 
Alright, you guys can guard the bridge in ambush mode. You guys can bait whoever wants to cross the bridge right behind them. And we ran out of money again. Let's continue. Alright, Gondu wants to attack don't mean this time, but I don't think we can because we, it's the untrustworthy issue again, right? Let's say we just accept still one more turn. So he just got to ask me a little bit later and I'll help him. But for now, nope. Hanshi, <laughs> And just like that, we became ascended, and there are now three kingdoms on the map. Of course, Kingdom of Wu is there. Seems like Cao Cao actually didn't get it. Alright, Sun Ce, Gong Sun Zan, Dong Min, okay. Alrighty. We became ascended, a huge boost of experience, as well as sal uh, another character recruited. There's also a tier higher called Enlighten. We're going to work towards that. And new mission. Uh, weapon. If we research this reform, okay. 12 commandery. Okay, we actually didn't lose any mission, which is great. Because we didn't go for that um, book of the people, which required this one. All right, now these are four turns. These are still three, two, two. So these are worth a little bit more now. These are six. Uh, unlocking these final reforms will unlock new positions. Lord of the people, so basically new leadership roles. Um, quite useful, but six turns a little bit hefty right now. Um, I'm going to look for something else. This one will also give us that weapon mission. Uh, these unlock some really good late game units. Hmm. Oh, we like this one. We also like this one. I wish these would drop to two turns. Then I would totally just go for that. I'm gonna go for this first. Seems to gonna have the most material impact. Yeah, we're paying 5,000, so that's 500 gold per turn saved right away. And we're probably going to have higher costs as we upgrade our units. So let's see where all these Emperor seats are. Kingdom of Wu, Kingdom of Zhou, and we don't see where the capital Kingdom of Yan is, but it's somewhere over here. Unless that is his capital. That That is his capital. That's really close. Uh, but where, I mean, are we really rushed to finish the game? I don't know. All right, let's look for farmers who can be good, who can be good, um, local leaders. Basically looking for traits, looking for traits. That's good on farmers. Okay. Terrible. Just straight up terrible. Not a farmer. Not a farmer. Uh, maybe we just don't have a good one. I mean, he's a good character. He's not a good... Doesn't stand out as administrator. But he, he's, he is quite good. Yeah, I like him. He's currently on assignment, though. How long is his assignment? One more turn and don't... Can we build anything? Yeah, let's just drop a building and then call him back. 
And then we'll put him in as our next um, local leader. Uh, let's see. Anything else happen? No level up, even though we got a huge amount of experience for Huang Shao. He's close to max level. He's also close to the next level too. What will we even get? We'll probably get one of the active abilities. Probably this one. This one's quite good. Mm. Alright, let's still continue our build up. There's no rush. We also have one free assignment to use. Ping Yuan. They're all off duty, so maybe we should wait. Taishan, we do want to build up. Dong Hai. Give us some more food, I guess. Same thing here. We might start investing a money one. Three. Okay, do we have any industry assignments? Now we need to pick up the skill for industry exploitation. It doesn't come with um, yellow turban factions. Alright, this one has a higher commerce, so we're going to put an assignment in here. She's level 1. Let's level her up. There we go. Uh, 1,040 gold. We're just short on money, to be honest. Yeah, we don't have enough to recruit the full retinues. Sun Tzu is visible. He might invade us. Mm, he should walk to the boundary of this commandery. We can see the boundary better on the map here. It's this line right here. He'll still get the recruitment discount. We're going to recruit an army on him next turn and then station him here in Guangling. Okay, let's end turn. Well, that's no surprise. Kingdom of Wu had declared war on us. No need to call for help. And Zheng Jiang declared war on us. No need to call, call for help. And Yuan Shu declared war on us. Same thing. Kong Zhou also declared war on us. This is what happens when you become ascended. Gong Lu was asking us to help him fight Liu Zhang. Yeah, sure. This is another war that's so far away from us that doesn't matter. Okay, so we got declared war on by half of the world. And that's fine. Feather fan, nothing too impressive. We need to start pumping our money into military. So he will be our cheap front line. She will be our cheap range units. I'm considering giving them some tribuches. Just so that they're stronger. Yeah, it's fine. We can afford it. Maybe archers, actually. Just so they're a little bit stronger. Oh, we're, we're, we're poor. Never mind. We are poor. Okay. We're going to give up the mustering bonus. Um, it's not that much anyways. 10%. Yeah. We're going to head into Guangling. Now Forge actually makes sense here. Cao Cao didn't declare war on us, which is surprising. But we're at war with Yuan Shu, Yuan Shao, and Sun Ce over here. 
Uh, we are at, oh they invaded. Ah, okay, so they're on our side of the map. They're probably gonna take the farmland away from us. We probably can't stop them. Do I want to leave Pengchong undefended to go help? No, I think we'll remain in a defensive posture over here. We might lose a couple uh, pieces, but it'll be fine. We're just gonna go a little closer to Dong. Uh, I feel like we should just stay on the defense here. Wait for them to come closer and attack them on the road. Hmm. I mean, this is this is really strong already. I'm, I'm not that worried about them. Where are we trying to build up? Where should we put our assignments? I kind of want to upgrade Taishan a little bit. Tall build. Don't lie as well. Hmm. I think Taishan first, because Taishan actually makes us money. But oh, oh, local leader. That's right. We have one extra local leader. We were putting Fu Monk as the local leader. Where is he? There he is. Uh, yeah, but where? Which commandery? Uh, Donghai eventually will be commerce and income once we get level 5. Um, Pingyuan also could do it. He will actually get an extra retinue here. Yeah, let's put him in Pingyuan for now. Just for defensive purposes. And let's see if we can put some items on him. We can also recruit him out, give him an army, put him back in. Alright, we'll give him this. Oh, there's nothing good. Plus four public water? Sure. Why not? These all drop. These are all drop expertise. Can't really give it to him. Alrighty. And the Simons. I guess we'll build this up a little bit more. Level 2, she doesn't get along, so too bad. I want to build this one up a little bit too. It's only the other one's better. This one's 25%, it's a little cheaper. Okay. Kind of wasting our main army at this imaginary war that I think would happen, but I better be prepared. I think we're good everywhere else too. Let them come. Wow, Gong is not fighting us. Not he's not at all fighting us. Do you not remember we killed your son and your wife. Oh, he likes us. Wow, he actually likes us. What a fool. How much for the salt mine? I am willing to pay you for it. Oh, we're still saving the eunuch. All right, this this works. We don't. Oh, we don't have enough cash for that. Um, per turn payment then, costing us a little bit more, but we just don't have the cash. That's fine. All right, our farmland's getting attacked. Um, there's no defensive structure here. There's no way we'll win this fight. 
Uh, let's just see. One, two, three, four calves. Lots of shielded units. It's gonna tough, be a tough army. Uh, they can take it. Alrighty, so Yuan Shao's alliance has declared war against Han Sui. We lost the farmland, and there's a new coalition between Dong Zhuo and Yuan Shu. And we got eight commanderies because we traded for Ping Yuan, so now we got some gold infusion, which is really good. Uh, loyalty, good for him. So, this army, after taking the farmland, recalled two of the retinues and left Lu Su by himself here. Which I feel is a dumb move by them, but... Uh, we can just, just go here. Right? What? Like, why did he recall two units? Now we can just sweep back and take them. It was a scary army, but not anymore. Extra research rate. Thank you. And... Yeah, I was even thinking of pulling this army down, but now we don't need to. Alright, Yuan Shu sent a small probing army towards Dong, which we can defeat even without the help of this army, but... We might as well just wipe them out before more comes. This is not even worth our time. Wow, close victory? Oh yeah, our army's really bad. <laughs> Alright, delegate this. Yeah, complete forgot this army's complete shit. Alright, we got new character. Zhuge Nan leveled up. Good for him. Extra research rate. Just the utility character. Who did we get? Who did we get? Another healer. Alright. I'll equip this. Rest up in Dome for a little bit. Actually, I want to pull you guys out of the city. Don't want you guys get sieged. Then you guys can't heal. Alright, we do have that 12k. And 12% discount. I feel like maybe now is the time. Yeah, I feel like maybe now is the time to upgrade this. And also... To switch these guys over. Yeah, it's a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. Hmm. Could go for these guys. Or at least these guys, they have the same damage. Faster fire rate. Gorilla deployment. Better fighters after they ran out of ammo. More ammo. Twice the price though. Alright, I'm just going to invest in this army. It's now officially better than my main army. Except for the general is not as good. Where is she? Oh, what? Why can't I just see her on the map? Hao Junping, where are you? I'm assuming you're on the field. No, she's not. Ah. Huh. Just leveled up from assignments, I guess, and got an armor upgrade. Good for her. All right, let's see, we can use our leftover cash to do some investing here. We don't need to give this place assignment anymore. They could honestly use one. And then we'll build it after it comes active. Uh, we'll wait. They got an assignment. Yep. 
I want to upgrade this so I can build a forge. Should have built a forge. Yeah, it was a mistake. I thought we weren't going to be fighting here. This should have been a forge and we've been all set. And we're just waiting for this army to one more turn to recruit. We're not going to attack them if they're not going to attack us. We might actually start attacking Yuan Shao. It's strange that they like us, but anyways, let's continue. Oh. Okay, he's taken the proactive stance. He recruited a second group, but they don't have full replenishment. And they challenge us to a fight. Uh, there's no dueling because there's just two strategists. Yeah, there's nothing to show here. Let's just save some time. Yeah, I don't know what they were thinking. Alright, Ma Teng, who we got into a war just because of Gong Du, is now deciding to pay us for this said war that we took no parts of. I will take that as a diplomacy piece. And I will take payments. Lots of payments. Come on. That's not a lot of gold. Spit it out. You're so poor. There we go. Alright, Kingdom of Yen declare war on the High Empire. Oh, wow. Cao Cao is... Okay, so Cao Cao is going to declare war on us very soon. Alright, we got a new recruit from the fight. Hmm. Jade Carver. Okay. Ooh, I like this. We can put it on someone. Yeah, let's put it on her. Alrighty. Alright, so I'm assuming they're not going to backstab us right away. That's a big if, I guess. Alright, we'll ambush here. And then we'll surprise attack them soon. This army is trying to slip south. Which I'm actually fine with. Like, what's this army going to threaten? We are just going to go back to our in-between spot. And just go back to an ambush as well. Um, let's see. Cao Cao joined the military alliance, so he's probably going to declare war on us very soon. Let's wipe them out. Uh, yeah, nothing to see here. Uh, Ma Yu, um, oh, release. Give us the most money. And they might like us, like Gong Sun Zan, for some reason. New characters. Oh, upgraded armor. Nice. The straw hat comes out again. We get night battle. Ooh, that's going to be really good. Does he have night battle? Oh, no one has night battle, so you should pick it up right now. Even though he will eventually have night battle. By eventually, we mean next level. Although he should probably pick up that. Is there anything better than Night Battle? No, this is the best one. Alright. They can recover for a bit. Li Dian is working for Kingdom of Wu. Okay. Alright, we're going to wait to pop out a forge over here. Assignments on target uh, online so we can build these a little cheaper and quicker. Let's get one more level here as well. That's all our cash, right? Yep. I think we're fine. We're making the offensive move in the north, holding pretty well against the potential fight against Cao Cao, and this army is doing the best it can despite being 
very cheap here. Let's continue. Here they are, the Lions of the Graceful Crane. Uh, looking at the flag, it's Sun Ce, Kingdom of Wu, Cao Cao, and Liu Biao. And they're declaring joint war against me. And we don't need to call for aid. All right, so we're gonna declare war by alliance. Uh, things are getting a little chippy. I'll get dutiful. Uh, it's chippy because Sun Ce has sailed right to here and Lady Wu got recruited. So this is Sun Ce Huang Gai and whoever she is, Guan Jie Jing. I think the move is to pull back to the city. We gotta give up this farmland. And we might want to consider upgrading this army to better units. Uh, because things are not looking great here. Commerce boost? Yeah, commerce boost is not bad. Range damage is less important. Commerce boost first, I guess. Alright, so Yuan Shu's armies are pouring in over here. But little does you know, our main army has just been ambushing here. So we can crush him pretty easily. Uh, Yuan Shao has sailed one army down. And has another army behind. And he also doesn't know we have an ambush party waiting for him. So we can pop this army away. And then this can be still stationed hidden here to see where this army goes. Uh, he might sail back, but we're not going to be fighting a naval fight. Those are just too unpredictable. Mm, over here we upgraded the... What do we want? We have forge already. We want more peasant and industry income. So I guess artisan would be the perfect building here. Although an inn could also work, but this one first. We have one level up. Hmm. Well, I don't like any of these. I guess peasantry buff. Okay. Pick a reform and we've got to do some fighting to end our episode. Let's see here. Let's see here. What do we want? We got this one, so we got retinue upkeep cheaper. More ammo might be good. Five. Oh, these are five turns now, so they also dropped a turn. One turn? One turn? One turn. Okay, perfect. Time to spam these. all these things we didn't get. Let's pick up these three in three turns. 410%. Gained a few traits. All right, let's start fighting. Uh, this army can finally be some use. First, we gotta get this group. The other two. The other two. Come on, let me select the other two. Go into the temple territory. Actually, they can even be close enough to reinforce. We shouldn't have taken the mountain route. I don't know if we can get reinforcements. Yeah, we're probably not going to. Yeah, no reinforcement. That's fine. Uh, we'll delegate this one. Nothing to steal, nothing to steal. Release, release. Money. Alright. We can't reach him, but he's. Ooh. Trebuchet. Yuan Yao, okay. Wait, Yuan Yao married into Yuan Shu's family? You guys are half brothers. Don't marry your kids to each other. Uh, wrong button. Um, Alright, anyways. Let's take this guy out. Alright, this is a captain. There's two captain retinues. So this is just basically a glorified army with one general. Do we have night battle? We don't have night battle. I'm thinking... Should we attack the army or should we attack the land? Probably the army first and then the land. 
there will be a reinforcement from this farmlands. Quite a big reinforcement too. But this army is excellent. If this army doesn't win, then we spent the money for nothing. Uh, there's so many enemies, like just sheer number of enemies. Alright, we're still going to fight this on the battlefield. Hope we do well. Let's go. Alrighty, we loaded up in here with one issue. The reinforcement army is coming from behind us. That's not great. The snowing part and everything is great. That's exactly what we wish for. We don't have flaming shot yet, so I guess we just have to angle things and hope for the best. Or we can pull the army, like, back. And then face them like this. That's one option. Right, we could set the army up like here. Then we fight it pretty evenly. We can use these guys as like a gauge. There's no cavalry here. Because it's just two uh, captain retinues. So basically we can have everyone run this way at the beginning. Hmm. Tribuchets might lose out a few shots if they come straight for us. Now they might not come straight for us. They might join them first. All right, let's try it. How many shots on the tribuchet? 12 shots. So it's not like they can fire for a long time. Run. All right, so these guys can be right here. These guys can be right here. You four in the front. You two on the side. Uh, you guys go stall and buy us some time. Who has recovery? She has recovery. Okay, so she will go buy time. They will stay here. He has charge resistant buff, so he'll stay here. She will go buy us some time. But as I mentioned, they're turning slowly towards us all right it's snow so there's there's time for us although it means we're slow too into getting our locations that's actually really far well they're already tired oh they were on march that's right so they're fatigued although i'm not worried oh actually oh, i turned the tribuches my fault there we go get back on track we can just stay back. We're fine. We could tilt this side a little bit. Like this. Wait, why can I? Yeah, something like that. Like that. Not not so pretty, but Yeah, I think that's the idea. Just cause this group will come hit us first. Now these guys are quite flexible. After they're done with their um, ammo we can also get rid of them. Uh, I mean like put them into melee. There we go. Oh, they're so slow. But they're not coming here anymore. They're moving straight. All right, let's speed things up. I'll cut it back till when we actually start fighting. So see you guys then. Okay guys, we're back. We're not fighting yet, but the reinforcement army is like coming real fast. And our tribuchets are just struggling through our formations. Guys, open the way for them. Open the way. Open the way. Let them get through. Alright, 
it's okay. We only have 12 shots. They're probably going to run out of shots before uh, before it becomes uh, an issue. Now we're going to do some adjustments to our formations here. Just because uh, this group is actually hitting us first. Which was unexpected. Alright, Tribuchets, let them have it. We can charge in actually. She can heal back. Heal stay put. She could also charge in a little bit later. Yeah, we're gonna run out of Tribuchet shot for that army over there. So actually we're gonna stop firing for a little bit. I wanna save it for those uh more elite unit over there. These are just easy kills to the archers. We'll let them get across the tree line and then we'll pepper them. Yeah, spear warriors. None of these are holding shields. Yeah, not spear guards. Her job will be to pin down some archers. Make sure we don't lose our horse. Gotta get through this gap right here. There we go. Yeah, they, they, they have no chance. We don't need to waste Tribuchet Shot on this army. Kill the archers. These guys will all get killed by the arc by our archers. Ammo shouldn't be a big issue, just because Archery Masters have a lot of ammo on them. And then our other units can become melee units after they ran out. Ooh. Can we not get caught up in... Can we charge out? Can we charge out? Can we charge out? Don't lose the horse. Go there. Yep. Alright. Uh. Mm, why do I have everyone selected? There we go. Wait. I'm pushing A. Something wrong with the controls. I'm trying to move the map, but it's selecting all the units, which is really weird. Okay. We're gonna go try to kill them. Alright, the front line is going to have impact. You guys don't run. Same as you guys. Come on, keep charging. Alright, Tribuchet, switch target. This group right here. Alright, they're done with their shots, which is bad. Because this group can't actually fight. What are they doing? Alright, how about you guys just fire Will? 
All right, we're gonna go disorient this whole group. Actually, we should disorient right here in the middle. Buy our archer some more time. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not good. Don't get surrounded. All right, disorient this whole group. Buy us a little bit more time. Charge down this group. All right, charge out. Are you on still on horse? Yeah, she's still on horse, so she's fine. Yeah, they can't duel. Why is that even an option? Um, that's a waste, actually. We should save that ability for like this group right here. All right, charge, charge, reducing bonus there. They can go out and fight. They can go out and fight. 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 Uh, you guys are out. Of, you guys are all out of ammo. That's fine. All right, turn back, kill the cavalry, harass the archers. Attack. Time to push back. Charge. Pull back. Don't get killed for nothing. Alright, we kill the cavalry? Nope, we're still fighting them. Okay, fight them. Alright, now use your ability. Morale drop. Splash damage done. Oh, they're still charging at us. That's not what we want. Don't lose our horse. That's the key. Alright, charge over there. Finish this group off. You guys can kill him. Actually, you guys can all kill him. Charge from behind. Did we win? Yeah, we won. Alright, start giving chase. Uh, we can't be fighting to use that. Let's pull out. Immobilize. And charge. Actually, this clump is really nice. Oh, they're back. Alright, just got kill him for their morale damage. We pretty much won this fight. Wasn't super clean, but wasn't bad. We need to take the farmland right after. So that we can replenish here. But there's more armies coming for us. Oh, we gotta kill him. Uh, Archery Master is getting killed for no reason. It's kind of bad. Let's kill him. Damage morale down. Alright, nice. Pull back. I don't want you guys to die. Ooh, there's another group there. They won? Stop chasing. Go help. All right, we gotta get rid of this group. This guy is too strong. Let's hurry it up. Loose formation. There we go. Their morale's drop. All right. Nice easy win. Uh, we're going to chase for a little bit just so that she can he also heal up. And I'll cut it back till when we end the fight. Alright. I think that was a pretty good fight. 
Uh, we got a character. We gotta take this farmland so we can replenish. That's very key. As you can see, more armies are on the way. Uh, three level ups. Wow. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Extra range damage? Not gonna be relevant. Hmm. Extra morale. And then reach. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see, for him... Range damage is going to be relevant. So will effortless flow for campaign movement range. And night battle. Ooh, night battle is critical here. Oh, this is a little bit questionable. Extra 5%, extra 50% battlefield loot. Although this condemn is quite good too. Alright, so we take the farmland. Yeah, there's almost no one left. No loss on uh, Delegate. I don't think I've seen... I mean, I guess I've seen it before, but... It's rare. Alright, we get one turn of healing, assuming we don't get siege right away. We're in their range, that's the problem. I wonder if I go here, would I be able to trap him in our zone? I don't think we can win the delegate fight, that's the problem. No, I don't think we can actually trap him in our zone, so he can actually attack us. Uh, let me think, let me think. We want to go into the river. Be on march. And then make sure we're on land. And yeah, we're good. We can at least break the siege or help out next turn if we need to. His army is in an awkward situation. Alright, so... I think this is a good place to end our episode as we are now engaged in a full-blown war with a lot of factions. Um, there's an alliance war going on with the Kingdom of Wu, which is basically the entire south, combined with Cao Cao and Liu Biao, and his two vassals, I'm assuming, uh, at war with us. Basically, the south and basically everything south of us is declaring war against us. To our uh, west here, uh, half brothers of Yuan Shao and Yuan Shu somehow overcame their differences and started joining to a war with us. Surprisingly, we're friendly with uh, Kingdom Yan from the north. Zhong Jiang declared war on us, and that's currently our situation as we are uh, holding on to uh, our land and expanding slowly uh, in a second wave of invasion from the AI factions after we hit Ascended. So. Things are heating up, uh, and we're going to pick it up from here next episode. See you guys then. Bye.